All right, guys, check this out. We're gonna unbox this Griswold revolver. Now, this unboxing slash initial look is kind of special because it's gonna herald a whole series on these cap and ball revolvers that I'm gonna be doing over the next little while. I've already got a few of them in the bag, uh, but I'm kind of waiting on releasing them until I've got an overall feel for the different brands and the different uh, models. But uh, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with the videos. And uh, I think we'll kind of start the series with unboxing this video, or this unboxing video. So, as you know by the uh, title of the video, this is going to be a review, initial look at the Pieta Griswold Revolver. I'm a big fan of the uh, TV show AMC's Hell on Wheels, and uh, in that show, the main character uh, in the opening seasons carried a what they called was a Griswold revolver, but it was really just an 1860 Army with a brass frame. But we'll talk about that more. Uh, this particular one, made by Traditions, well, not made, marketed by Traditions, imported by Traditions, uh, but made by Pieta, as you can see. There's the manual there. So, made by Pieta, imported by Traditions. Now, the reason that I went through Traditions is because Cabela's only offered the 36 caliber Griswold for sale. And that really just, even though that's slightly more accurate, that really didn't make sense for me and my personal situation because almost all of these suckers that I have are 44 cap and ball. And the ones that are the full size revolvers that I can keep in that caliber, I'm going to go ahead and keep in that 44. Just makes sense for me logistically. So I went with the Traditions Imported Pieta. And as you can see there, it is a beautiful gun for just 200 bucks. You can't ask for much more than that. So, and one of the really cool thing about these uh, Griswold and Gunnisons is they're one of the only uh, cap and ball revolvers that were made during the Civil War where this brass frame is correct. A lot of times the brass frame guns that you see are not correct. They're completely an invention of the Italians. This uh, 1851 Navy with the brass frame is a perfect example. This one's also incorrect in that it's a 44 cal. But uh, these things are marketed by traditions on the very cheap. They're like 150 bucks, and uh, that's why you see them, but they did not exist in the Civil War. Now you also see these 1851 Navy brass framed and the 1860 Army brass framed. You also see them in the TV shows like Hell on Wheels. And I assume that the reason is cost. You know, production cost, this gun is half the price of the, some of the steel frame guns, so I imagine they use it a lot because of that. But the Griswold, like I said, the Griswold and Gunnison is one of the few where they actually did have brass frames. That is historically correct. So it's beautiful and we can appreciate it for being historically correct. Another thing that I really like is uh, the Walker style barrels where they had the octagonal barrel extension and then it transitioned into the round barrel so out of the box it's still pretty oily i wiped it down before starting the video but i'm very happy with the way the lock is cycling at half cock there's a little bit there's a little bit of over travel as you can see there it should be about like that but nothing that i can't take care of locks up pretty good and this is again before disassembly or anything like that this is right out of the box the only thing that I've done is clean it or wipe it down wipe the oil off so you can get a good look at that 44 caliber ball bore if I can get my camera to focus there we go so pretty cool so, I'm not going to do much in the way of modifications to this Griswold and Gunnison. I'm going to slick up the internal parts just a little bit. I'm going to put the slick shot nipples on it just to aid in firing. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to run it stock and we'll see how it does. Put a couple hundred rounds through it. 
Um, you guys will see that out at the range. And it should be a pretty fun time, especially comparing it to all the other uh, revolvers that I've accumulated uh, for this video. So make sure you guys, you know, keep up with what's going on. Go ahead and check out my Instagram. Got a lot of this stuff updated on Instagram. And once I get all these videos up and everybody's had a chance to check out the videos, quite a few of these will be going up for sale. So make sure you check back for that. That's pretty much it. And I'll catch you guys later.